Green tea is the second most popular beverage in the world by consumption, and is touted to be one of the most healthy substances in existence. If you look on the internet, there are no shortage of claims of almost mythical health benefits associated with it. The only problem is, is that there is very little mention in detail why it is good for you scientifically speaking. So without further ado, here is why green tea is good for you, really. In my research, it seemed that there are two different types of claims made about green tea, the preventative and the energetic. Let's start out with the preventative. Tea in general is rich in a group of compounds known as polyphenols. They are a group of bioactive substances that are behind many of the effects associated with tea and are most noted for reducing inflammation. Polyphenols make up about 30% of green tea by weight. Green tea is especially rich in a specific polyphenol called epigallocatechin galgate or EGCG for short. EGCG is a particularly strong natural antioxidant. Antioxidants are instrumental in eliminating free radicals and protecting from cell damage, which are key parts of many diseases and the aging process. Many of the preventative health benefits of green tea are based on EGCG. Now on to the energetic. Green tea contains a fair amount of caffeine, about 35 milligrams per eight ounces, but this can vary slightly based on a variety of factors, including freshness and brewing technique. On its own, the caffeine is not enough to have the same effect as something stronger, like black tea or coffee. But thanks to another compound called L-theanine, things get better. L-theanine is an amino acid that aids in the transmission and binding of neurotransmitters in the brain. When consumed with caffeine, L-theanine causes the caffeine to bind more effectively with the neurotransmitters, resulting in both longer lasting and more potent effect while reducing the crash at the end to a gentle taper. This is where the claim about increased energy and brain function comes from. Surprisingly, this is also where many of the weight loss claims come from. Caffeine increases your heart rate, which in turn increases calorie consumption, often leading to modest weight loss. There are many different studies and claims surrounding green tea, but the majority of them lead back to one of the two we covered. Anyway, I hope you found this deep dive into the science of green tea interesting and informative. I'll leave some links in the description as a starting place if you are interested in doing some of your own research. One final note that is worth mentioning. Several studies have shown that there's a dramatic impact on the effectiveness of green tea based on the quality and freshness of the tea leaves. A great way to ensure high quality tea is to use loose leaf. I will leave a link on screen and in the description to a great video about getting started brewing loose leaf tea. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future videos. You can also find additional content on our social media and blog.